Covering Hilo to Kona, Javi to Na'alehu, this is Big Island Video News. I'm Stephanie Salazar. It's been a rough few days for Vogue on the east side of Hawaii Island. Hilo has been cloaked in the volcanic smog, and it's even been worse closer to Kilauea. On Tuesday morning, sulfur dioxide readings reached an unhealthy level around 6 a.m. This week, the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has had to shut down certain areas of the park, like the visitor center, due to the conditions. A low-pressure system over the state has squelched the trade winds, allowing the VOG to rest over Hawaii Island. Forecasters expect the trade winds to return on Friday. County officials report that there has been a death on the lava fields in Lower Puna. Fire officials say they responded to the report of a person unable to walk near the lava viewing area in Kalapana shortly after 3 p.m. on Tuesday. A friend of the 56-year-old male victim said they were hiking all day and the victim was in physical distress on the lava field and unable to find him. A ground and air search was conducted and the victim was eventually discovered on the lava field near Kalapana Garden subdivision. He was taken out by helicopter but determined to be dead on arrival. In today's police report, a routine traffic stop in Kona has led to the arrest of three persons in two separate cars. Police say this man, 37-year-old Chito Asuncion of Pahala, drove by police as they were arresting two women in Kona after the police spotted drug paraphernalia in the women's car following a routine traffic stop. Asuncion drove the scene twice in his Kia sedan, according to police, and was yelling at one of the detained women from his window. An officer recognized Asuncion, who was wanted on three bench warrants. Police say Asuncion sped toward the officers when they tried to make a traffic stop on the circling Kia. The officers had to jump out of the way to avoid being hit, but were not injured. Asuncion was eventually stopped and arrested. Police later found a glass smoking pipe and small plastic bag with white powdery residue and brass knuckles. On Monday, Asuncion went to court on the bench warrants and afterward was charged with two counts of first-degree terroristic threatening, two counts of second-degree reckless endangering, carrying a deadly weapon, resisting an order to stop, driving with an expired license, promoting a dangerous drug, and possessing drug paraphernalia. As for the two women whose traffic stop initiated the whole affair, they were released pending further investigation. And in the news from the Pune district, police say this 27-year-old man, Philip John Richardson, who has no permanent address but is said to be a former resident of Pahoa, went on a one-man rampage in Hawaiian Paradise Park on May 4th. Police say Richardson has been arrested. In a Tuesday media release, they detailed his alleged behavior, which began with a chaotic double carjacking attempt at a home on 18th Avenue. Later, police say the suspect then rammed a pickup truck into a home on 17th Avenue, apparently stealing a safe before escaping again. There was also a report that a pickup truck terrorized a home on 1st Avenue, where the suspect forced his way in and took a computer. No one was seriously injured during those crimes. Richardson was eventually arrested at the 18th Avenue home. After conferring with prosecutors, detectives charged him with two counts of second-degree attempted robbery, one count of phone ripping, one count of impersonating a law enforcement officer, two counts of first-degree burglary, one count of first-degree unauthorized entry into a motor vehicle, one count of fourth-degree criminal property damage, and one count of resisting an order to stop. Richardson's bail was set at $83,000. The Hawaii Police Department will hold a community meeting on Tuesday, May 21st from noon to 2 p.m. at the Na'alehu Community Center. The purpose of the meeting? To allow the public to meet the police department's command staff and discuss concerns with the police chief and commanders who oversee police operations in the Ka'u district. The meeting comes as the county administration is proposing to add another five police officers in the Ka'u district. In order to cover these and other increased public safety expenses, Mayor Billy Kanoi says the property taxes will have to be raised. The new taxes will first need to be approved by the county council. The police meeting in Ka'u continues the community gatherings which are rotated throughout the eight police districts on Hawaii Island. To aid police commanders in focusing on specific concerns, it's asked that participants be limited to persons who live 
or work in the Kau District. This is Big Island Video News for Wednesday, May 8, 2013. I'm Stephanie Salazar. 